Well, disapproving Porg is out, so you know what that means. I've got grievances. Hey, what's up to all my Luscious fans? Steve Alicious here, back with the Samsung official Galaxy S22 Ultra cases. It's the, let me make sure I get these names right because they're awfully confusing. We have the protective standing cover in white, which is basically clear with a plastic white border. We'll talk about that one in just a moment. We also have the S View flip cover in black. $35 for the ultra protective standing cover and $50 for the S View flip cover. Links will not be in the description because just in case you trip or something like that and accidentally buy one, I want to prevent that from happening. Let's start with the protective standing cover. When I first saw this, I saw the kind of rib design on the back and I was excited because it brought back memories of my favorite Note 9 case that was from Samsung was this one here. Fantastic. Now, Samsung used to make great first party accessories. This is incredibly well built. It feels nice in the hand. It's durable. It's robust. It's got a great kickstand. It lasted however many years now? Was it four years? This device was on my Note 9. Not a scratch on her. Really great accessory worth the money it was expensive but it wound up to be worth it because it stood the test of time now with samsung accessories you get overpriced and you get cheap and they're not nearly as good so that's why i want to try to i'm going to put a picture up now of this case i got this on tuesday of last week we've seen this on sunday it was last tuesday when i got the phone i had it on there only really a couple days Maybe part of Thursday and Friday because I had had the Spigen and the Caseology cases on there. And I'll show the picture of what happened. I don't know what it is. It might just be the world's worst protective film that you can't get off that somehow is a harder protective film that flakes. But I didn't do anything to this. I absolutely babied this case because I don't have a screen protector on it yet. And I want to be careful. So it didn't really get any rough and tumble. It didn't get dropped. I just looked at it earlier today and noticed that it was peeling up or, or kind of flaking off and you, you could feel it. If you rub your hand over that spot, it flakes up and it's some sort of material that feels odd on the hand. No idea what it is. But you're telling me for $35, this case literally couldn't last more than a few days. That's absolutely no for me. I don't care if you got it free from a pre-order bulge from Samsung. I absolutely would not waste even free dollars, if that's even a thing, on a case like this. Otherwise, if you don't want to know what it's like, the sides, the plastic that they used is on the cheaper side. It's it's not great. It doesn't feel great in the hand. The buttons are fine, though. It does provide decent enough protection to the device. The back is hard enough plastic. The stand is actually the best part of it. It's a relatively sturdy stand, and it's nice that it has both sides that you could put up there. So if you want a little shorter or whatever it is, you want a longer one, you can put it there and have different angles that you could have the stand at. That's nice. And this is removable. They give you two of these, they, depending on the color that you get. So my white one came with a pistachio green. They kind of snap this center cub ha uh, hubcap here off, remove these two, and then you can snap the green one in. That's fine. But if it's going to look like that after just a few days, I can't even imagine how this wears in after some actual rough and tumble use over a few months so this definitely even though it does the job it's okay definitely not premium for 20 bucks you'd let this slide for 35 bucks i don't think so even though i like the design the look of it the feel and the actual function isn't good but i'll tell you what more case companies should do because neither the speaking cases or the caseology cases they had the lanyard strap which i do like korean company makes sense on both sides so if you're lefty or righty you could put the lanyard on either side. Okay, let's take this off. Easy takeoff. No problems with that part of it. Let's talk about the S View flip cover. It the feel of it is what throws me off at first. It's not leather, okay? For fifty dollars you think maybe they give it no. It's not even faux leather. It's just we'll just call it faux. I, that's really the only <laughs> I don't have another material. <laughs> it's an odd feeling. It's like they went for kind of the vegan leather that you have on some devices in some cases, but didn't quite get there. So it's a bit of an odd feeling, but that's okay. It works fine. 
I, I'm assuming it has some sort of NFC chip in there that identifies when this case is on because you go ahead and close it and then you get the always on display up in the upper right hand corner so it kind of shrinks it down so you have that little S view there that they talk about. It's nice. You have different little things that you could put in there. So I customized it. I put the little big cat in there. You go into a menu. When you actually, like some of the other cases, uh, the S10 Plus has some of these, where if it knows it has a special case on there, you go into settings and it actually adds cover screen. It actually adds an option set for the cover that you have on there. You could go ahead and do clock style and see the different ones that they have there. You could customize this. There's a monkey. There's a couple other animals that you could pick, and there's different time clocks that you could have there. So it works fine. No real issues with that. If you're a fan of this, I don't like ones that don't clasp at all. I don't like ones that don't have some sort of magnetic. I understand with phones that might get tricky, but at least some sort of fold-over clasp. You're going to have... It's a foldable anyway. So it's, it's a flip cover anyway. So it's not like a, an additional restraint there would get in the way of how you're using it because you're going to have to do this regardless. So I, I really like a little extra security there sometimes, but if you're used to that, if this is the kind of case that you like, that a folio S view case, if you're used to it on other devices and you do like it and you got it as part of the pre-order bonus, you got it for free, that's big, or you got it at a discount, then go ahead. You'll enjoy it just fine. It has no, no problems. It's got the extra protection in the back. It does do a, a decent job it has kind of the extra padding here, the extra rubberized material that would protect it in a fall. Same thing on the bottom. You can see the indentation there, a little bit extra. No problem with the S Pen in and out. No issues there. It's got a little bit of raising around the camera section there to protect that. Overall, it's not a super protective case. This is more of a showcase where you could see that little peak view there in the upper right-hand corner. $50 a little steep. I really think you could probably find some better alternatives. A heck of a lot cheaper than that. But if you like the first party stuff, if that's what you go for, then go ahead and pick this one up. At least works as designed. No problems there. This one, I mean, part of the thing is, is, is holding up, right? It's a case. You'd, you'd hope that without any sort of abuse that it would be able to withstand a little bit better than that. If I don't know if that's a defect on mine. If that's something, maybe it is, like I said, the world's hardest protective film to pull off. I don't see how that would be a thing. I've tried for a while. I double-checked, triple-checked to see if that was the case. I don't think so. So while it looks nice, it doesn't feel nice. It's expensive, and it does have that wear problem right away. So that's disappointing. So the overall, the Samsung stuff, it used to be overpriced but good. Now it's just overpriced. That's disappointing, but as disappointing pork is here, that's part of the deal. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve-licious day.